Coming up next, the Eaton Peabody Bangor Region Chamber of Commerce gubernatorial primary debate for the Republican Party, held at Rangeley Hall on the Eastern Maine Community College campus, located in Bangor, Maine. The candidates include William Beardsley, Steve Abbott, Paul LePage, Matt Jacobson, Les Houghton, and Peter Mills. This program was produced by My Video Productions, MVP, putting community events on television since 2002. Funding for MVP is proudly provided by Page Employment and Seaboard Security. Thank you for watching this program, and now we join Mike Ballesteros, Chair of the Board of the Bangor Region Chamber of Commerce. Good evening, and welcome to the Bangor Region Chamber of Commerce Eaton Peabody Gubernatorial Primary Debate. I am Mike Ballesteros, Dean of Development and Business Services here at Eastern Maine Community College, and I also serve as the 2010 Board Chair for the Bangor Region Chamber of Commerce. Eastern Maine Community College is pleased to host tonight's debate featuring six of the Republican candidates for governor. But before we get started, I have a few announcements about upcoming events. Our next early bird breakfast is to be held Wednesday, April 28th at Jeff's, uh, Jeff's Catering in Brewer. The topic for the breakfast will be the referendum question, which will appear on the June ballot. The question will ask voters to decide whether or not to reject the new law that lowers Maine's income tax and replaces that revenue by making changes to the sales tax. We will explore this issue, presenting both sides of the debate with panelists Wick Johnson, President for Kennebec Technologies, State Senator Trahan, and Albert DeMillo. The breakfast series is sponsored by Oxford Networks. The Chamber's Business Expo is set to take place on May 6 at the Bangor Civic Center. There will be exhibitors, seminars, a fabulous reception, great prizes, and a lot of networking opportunities. Please check at the registration table outside for more information. Call the Chamber or register online at thebangorregion.com. One of the prizes that attendees could win is an Apple iPad, which is generously donated by the event, event's premier sponsor, again, Oxford Networks. Our basic sponsors include Bangor International Airport, Pinnacle Development, Concentra, and Eastern Maine Development Corporation. Our reception sponsors for this event are events by Mackey and Maine Equipment Rental. And our media sponsors are the Maine Edge, WVOM, Maine Biz, and WVII Channel 7. The Democratic candidates for governor will take part in the Bangor Region Chamber of Commerce Eaton Peabody gubernatorial primary debate to be held on May 3rd at Husson University's Gracie Theater. Please contact the chamber for tickets and further information for that debate. We'd like to thank uh, the college and Eaton Peabody for sponsoring this event this evening. And now I'd like to introduce our moderator for the evening, Catherine Pegram, anchor and reporter at WABI TV5. Please welcome me in joining her to the stage. Thank you for that introduction tonight. Um, good evening, everyone. First, I'd like to outline our ground rules before we get started with this event. Then we'll turn it over to the candidates to have some introductory remarks and move on from there. I'd like to first ask members of the audience to please silence your cell phones or other electronic devices here and ask that you refrain from any vocal demonstrations of support or opposition during the course of our debate. Our ground rules do state that audience members who persist in those sorts of demonstrations will be asked to leave, so please remember that. As to the format, in just a minute, each of the candidates will be given a two-minute opening statement. After that, I'll pose a series of questions. Some of the questions were crafted by the leadership of the Bangor Region Chamber of Commerce. Others were submitted by chamber members, and I'll identify the author in those instances when we get to those questions. Each candidate will be allotted one minute to respond to a question. I'll vary the order in which they'll be able to respond, and as we get to the end, I may ask some of the candidates to limit their response to a shorter time period so that we can end on time and get in as many questions as possible. 
We do have a timekeeper seated over here to the side of the stage, and what you can't quite see is that she'll display a yellow indicator light when a candidate has 15 seconds left to respond, and a red indicator light when the response time has been used up. Any candidate who persists in going over that time can have their allotted time shortened in their next response, so we hope that you please keep that in mind. If any candidate is singled out by opposition for criticism, I may choose to give that criticized candidate 30 seconds for rebuttal. And I'll also let you know that we'd like to take a brief break right around 7.15 to allow our videographer for Community Access Television to change his tapes. So we'll take a breather in about 40 minutes or so. Those are our ground rules. I'd like to move on to our opening statements, and we're going to start at the end of the table with Steve Abbott and then work our way across. You have two minutes, Mr. Abbott. Thank you very much for having us here tonight. I'm also impressed that we have rules. I, we've been together for about 50 debates. I think this is the first time we've actually had a, had a format outline with rules. So uh, thank you for the opportunity to be here. Uh, my name's Steve Abbott, and for those of you who haven't met me, I'm, I'm from Orono, and uh, that's something I've always been very proud of and important to me. My first job was delivering the Bangor Daily News with my brother Scott, who's here tonight. I'll confess we hated it, uh, but still, I was glad to have that opportunity. And uh, growing up in this area was special to me. It was special to have the opportunity to play in the high school basketball tournament here in Bangor, special to have the opportunity to drive over the old bridge when it used to hum, and it was special to have the opportunity to have George Hale wake us up on WABI at 545 every morning. And, uh, but not only is this area special to me, it's special to the rest of Maine as well, and it's really important to our economic future that the Bangor area succeed and do well, and it's important for all of Maine. Bangor is the transportation crossroads for northern eastern Maine. It's the economic center for northern eastern Maine. It's the service center for northern and eastern Maine. It's also the academic center for, for northern eastern Maine, and I would say for the whole state as well. And it's really important uh, that the state support this region and understand the history of this region, what it's meant to Maine, and what it's going to mean to Maine's future. This is an area I come to often. My parents are here as well, Walt and Carol Abbott. Uh, many of you know my dad from his work at the university and uh, know my mother from long suffering by his side. So I appreciate that they were both, up, uh, both able to join me here tonight as well, and thank you for the chance uh, to have this forum. Bill Beardsley. Thank you. Uh, and thank you to the chamber and to uh, East Maine Community College for this opportunity. I am Bill Beardsley, and uh, I know Maine's challenges I know its potential. I've been a successful president of Housing University for 23 years, and I aspire to be a successful governor for the state of Maine. I know finance. I've chaired the Finance Authority of Maine and directed Alaska's uh, Division of Finance and Economics. I know energy. I've been a vice president of Bangor Hydro, uh, and I was the director of the Division of Energy and Power Development for the state of Alaska. I know natural resources. My doctoral dissertation from Johns Hopkins focused on resolving conflicts in multiple-use natural resource management here in the state of Maine, an issue that is very dear to my heart and critical to everything else. I also served as director of Alaska's Office of Forest Products. Uh, I have been involved uh, with the governor of Vermont and in all my uh, careers uh, uh, in the field of economic development. That's what I bring to the table. Uh, I've already made tough decisions on budgets. I can make them again, but I've always done them with compassion uh, towards my colleagues that I work with. I have a proven track record. I have uh, experience, uh, and I aspire to truly serve the state of Maine. And that's why I'm running. I'm running uh, because for 23 years, uh, I have helped prepare Maine students for professional careers, and I would now like to make sure that those career opportunities are here in Maine. Thank you.